Dear viewers, this is Muhammad Shahjahan from Muhammad Explain. Welcome to my channel, Muhammad Explains. Today I would like to share the voice change of a imperative sentence. Now we have to know what imperative sentence is. Viewers, you know, an imperative sentence uh, always expresses advice, request, command, directions, proposal, instructions, forbiddance. For example, watch my YouTube channel very carefully, please. Wear mask when you will go out. Subscribe my channel for having the latest video. Let me share Muhammad explains. Keep a close look at some examples on the screen, viewers. Number one, com compose an email. Compose is base form of verb. Number two, call in a doctor. Call base form of verb. Do not kill animals. Here, the sentence starts with do not. Number four, don't send it. The sentence starts with don't. Number five, never disobey your parents. The sentence starts with never. Number six, please do not smoke. The sentence starts with please or sometimes kindly. Number seven, let me teach English. The sentence starts with let. Number eight, pluck me a flower. The sentence starts with pluck. We need to find out the objects. For example, compose an email. Compose what? Answer will be an email. So, an email is an object and it is direct object. Viewers, there are two types of object. One direct object, another is indirect object. Now, why it is direct object? The object which is related to non-person or non-living thing. Okay. Number two, call in a doctor. Now, make a question. Call in whom? Answer will be a doctor. So, a doctor is object and it is indirect object because doctor is related to a person, a living thing. Okay. Number three, don't send it. Now, don't, it, don't send what? Answer will be it. It is direct object. Okay. Number four. Never disobey your parents. Now, uh, never disobey whom? Answer will be your parents. It is indirect object. Now, different rules will be uh, described. First, let and then object, then be, then past participle, then extension, if any. For example, compose an email. It is active voice. Now, first let, this is let, and then object. Object is an email and email and then B this is B and then past participle verb is composed so past participle will be composed so composed there is no extension in this sentence now number two don't send it reverse it is active voice here not is present, so you will have to follow this rule. This rule and this rule are same, only extra word is not. First, let, this is let, and then uh, not, not, and then object, it is object here, it, and then be, this is be. 
and then first participle here send is base form so past participle form will be send extension there is no extension or no extra word in number two now number three never dissolve your parents that is active voice okay now this is the rule how you can change from active to passive first let and then never this is never and object your parents this is object is your parents and then be be and past participle so these all be used base form past participle will be this object now number four let me teach english that is active voice there are two objects one me and another object is english now uh, first let this is let and then direct object here yeah? english is direct object and because it is related to non person and then b that is b and pp means past participle so teach is based for past participle form will be taught and then by by and then io means indirect object so indirect object here is me so in the place of io we must write me this is the passive voice some sentences are given for uh, changing uh, passive voice number 1 change the voice number 2 do not shut the door number 3 never tell a lie number 4 let me have a cup of tea five please do not smoke six bring me a chair viewers if you want you may take a pause for writing the answers answers are given on the screen you match yours with mine that's for today thanks for watching my channel bye bye